what's up guys so it's been been a little bit since i've done one of these kind of uh weekly training vlogs with my top sets uh as i get back into uh power lifting season uh crossfat it's kind of come to an abrupt end uh really didn't get to peak it out like i really intended uh but it kind of sucked crossfat's more of a springtime thing and it sucks in the winter because I don't get to utilize our outside area as much because it's cold and I'm a pussy. So I didn't really get to take advantage of all the stuff like I usually do. But anyway, uh, I've got a meet in July, so might as well just get back started on that. Kind of the theme of this week is 60% and 3x5s. Most of my main movements were as such. Uh, so the deadlifts. I did 60%, again, 3 by 5 uh, 3 sets of 10 with 315 on the RDLs after. I've not already done RDLs in quite some time. Um, I'm probably going to keep these in for a few weeks. Uh, and just wanted to get myself back acclimated to the movement. I don't know if I'll jump weight next week with them or not yet. Um, and with my main movements, I don't think I'm going to jump weight next week at all either. Um, I did 3 by 5s with them this week. Um, I may do four by fives or five by fives. I'm definitely going to add at least one set, um, depending upon how I want to structure kind of my secondary movements around them, uh, and, you know, upper body versus lower body. As you'll see on my upper body movements, um, I did, you know, AMRAPs on my last sets with my lower body movements. I didn't, uh, and squats, I did an 80% single you're seeing right here, uh, in my warmups. It felt a lot heavier than 80%. These are the first straight bar squats I've done in quite some time. Even my 60% 3 by 5 uh, definitely weren't moving uh, like 60% should. Uh, I don't know if it's you know out of practice with the movement itself. I had been squatting uh, with the SSB pretty exclusively and in heels. Uh, I'm back in flats. There's definitely a little bit of time to get back used to the movement. Uh, I'm also older now, and squats just fucking hurt. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, and then secondarily, here's some tempo posy boys with the SSBs. But yeah, that, that's kind of how I'm, I'm getting back into uh, quote-unquote powerlifting shape. Uh, this CrossFat season uh, didn't go as, as planned as it normally does. Uh, the springtime, summertime CrossFatting... I get a lot more conditioning GPP stuff done. Uh, the winter cross fat, aside from the box jumps, was really more or less just working up to heavy singles on various movements or uh, a top uh, superset mixing two random movements. Not really the typical, again, cross fat season I normally do. Uh, and, you know, I'm making excuses winter time no outside it's kind of on me uh my favorite elliptical machine got sold from the gym as well too we've got a new one it's actually it's really baller it's like suspended on bungee cord type deal i'll show you all a picture of it i guess i'm probably not doing it justice but it feels like walking on clouds however i became so specialized <laughs> it's funny to even think about this uh, to our old elliptical machine and sort of the stroke it had that, uh, yeah, it, it's just different altogether. There you see, I, I implemented some dead bench presses. Um, I'm going to run those for a wave as well. I worked up to 445 on these. Uh, and then close grip Larson's, again, 60%. Uh, and am wrapped on the last one. Uh, I've failed 240 kilos the last four four meets in a row on my third bench i would like to not do that uh so i'm throwing those uh dead presses in gonna work some new variations in um and i did three of these super sets on my bench day after this uh, limited equipment at my work gym so uh just getting it in how i can some neutralish grip pull-ups reverse barbell curls and face pulls <laughs> 